Wow, raindrops reminds me of... It really reminds me of the feeling of being trapped. I actually wrote raindrops back in 2017 with my friend Lin Ying. And it was really just the both of us in the studio in front of a piano and it was raining outside. It really started with the idea of how it would feel when you're stuck inside and just watching the rain. No, I've never felt this before. It just makes you want to stand in the rain, you know, and just let everything wash over you. I think the, my favourite lyric in the song is Cold days are always so old when it's making me cry It's familiar, you know, the feeling of, of being lonely. It's, it's not something that you experience once and figure it out. That you are not mine. Me and the wife were listening to Spotify one night. I stumbled upon this playlist called Jazztronica and I heard this group called Potato Head People. They're a hip-hop duo based in Vancouver, Canada. Managed to get time to talk to them. And we just immediately started working on, on, on raindrops. Can you hear this? Now all I hear are the you can hear yeah. that too? <laughs> yep. That's crazy. We are so far away from each other. We literally are the opposite time zones. You see me still? I see you yeah. and not the screen. How um, these songs are based out of emotion, you know. They're, they're written because these feelings were so strong. Is this song, like, supposed to have some positive... No. <laughs> but it ...resolve sounds... at the end? Sharing that with someone is, is really a process of trying to let them get to know you as a person also. I know, I was reading the lyrics, just like, without listening to the song, just like, going through it, and I was like, this guy's... This guy's going through something. Something's up. <laughs> and that's the key, I think. Just being surrounded with people who are empathetic towards what you're doing. What's that? <laughs> I can't wait to hang with them in person, actually, to be honest. <laughs> I'm glad that you like what we did and... Love it, man. We're, we're excited to work on more stuff and... Take it easy, man. Care. Have a good night. Great Bye. See It's crazy that when I went into the studio, it was such a difficult song to record because I was having the worst sinus of my life. <laughs> I can't even physically bring myself to sing it properly. And that was the first time in 10 years that I've ever experienced something like that in the studio because I'm a studio junkie. Okay, let's try again. And now when I when I listen back to the recording of Raindrops, like it still has all these imperfections that really bug me. I knew it wasn't an easy song to sing just because it's like in the middle of like my bridge. But at the same time, getting over those things was so critical, I think, in continuing to write more stuff because for the longest time after writing Raindrops, I was just like, I can't do this anymore. That was really the weight of the pandemic talking to me. Like, I really felt like maybe I shouldn't be doing music or something, you know? Cover this fucking song, man. <laughs> Stop covering it, it's you. <laughs> Be sad for once <laughs> in your life. Feel sadness. I can hear Making art makes me miss all the people that I make art with. We managed to do the Raindrops music video via teleconference. The director literally wasn't on set at all. You know what it felt like? It felt like we were in the future. Like I was being directed by an AI. <laughs> There's this part where I slam my keyboard on the floor. I felt really bad. Like you, you don't want to do that to someone's floor. So. I think we managed to do okay. Like we had so many rehearsals just to get that choreography right. 
And I think that's the beautiful part about this process. And when you get something like that, it's, it's quite priceless because you don't always, let me tell you, you don't always get that feeling of, of things coming together well. It's a Looking back at the whole process of making raindrops, I think the most valuable thing for me is that nothing's gonna go the way you want it to all the time. And that's okay, you know? If I could give myself advice when I started this whole music thing, it would be to chill the fuck out. <laughs> Even though it's not perfect, it captured a particular moment in time when things weren't perfect. And be okay with things not being okay, you know? And just coming up with better things. I can hear raindrops, cold days are always so old. Today is really exciting because we are going into the studio to record vocals. Notes right here. And uh, my lady over there. <laughs> my. Yes. Wow. Feeling good? So high. So high. Feeling mean. Oh. You're too tall. <laughs> <laughs> that last week had some, yeah, bro. <laughs>